Hello, my laser engraving peeps, and welcome to the Laser Rundown. Just kidding, I'm only one person. This is 3D Rundown, and today I'm sitting here next to the Laser Pecker LP4. We are going to go over how to focus the laser for proper burning. Grab your pecker, turn it on, and let's get started. There are three methods you may use to focus your pecker. The first method is to measure. Laser pecker will give you a specific height based on your model to measure from the object to the bottom of the lens. That distance brings us to number two, as it also happens to be the same length as your shield. For example, if you need to focus your laser on this cube, you may place the cube under the shield and lower the shield to the top of the object. When the shield reaches the top of the object, that is the correct focal height. This is important for working with your pecker portably where you will not have this space and you will hold it up to an item. The distance between the laser and your shield is already correct. The third and final method, which is the method I suggest you use, is visually using the guide lights. Unfortunately, the Laser Pecker 4 has one major design flaw, and that is this orange shield. Should you be working with a flat item underneath the Laser Pecker and lower the shield down, the shield will completely encase the item, making it really hard to maneuver that item should you need to make any adjustments. For this, I suggest working without the shield. It's worth noting, working without the shield can potentially be dangerous. You will want to use your safety glasses and be very mindful of where and when you position your bodily items. Let's have a look at how to manually focus your laser pecker. Here I am looking at a simple piece of wood from a hobby shop. The first thing we need to do is turn off the safety measures, preventing you from using your pecker without protection. Go ahead and open up your laser pecker app. There are two of them. I am in laser pecker design. Touch create and inside create you will be given additional configuration settings hidden right here under the gear. Touch the gear, turn on free mode. This will enable you to burn without the cover on. Look here, turn on red dot always on. Those two dots are what we will use to focus. You may back out of this mode and resume working on your project. For this demonstration, Let's just choose a random clip art. I'm going to choose thumbs up. Tap the item you wish to burn. Tap preview. Tap preview. And your framing laser will appear. You may adjust the intensity of that laser by sliding this slider left and right. You may mark the center point of your project by tapping center point right here. If you'd like, you may now adjust your material. However, that's not important for this particular exercise. Go ahead and return to preview area to see your framing. You might notice my framing is now more centered. Keep in mind, the red focal guide is not the center point of your project. Notice the two red dots are far apart from each other. When your laser is focused, the two red dots will overlap and form one red dot. Let's do that together by bringing the laser down. Once those two lights become closer together, stop the movement and make smaller adjustments. When the two dots become one, your laser is focused and you are ready to burn.
and there you have it. Perfect focus and a clean burn. You may do this on all your materials. For example, here's a dice block. You'll see the two dots no longer align. That's because this item is taller. Simply bring the laser up. Once those two dots align, your laser is focused. You would use your center point laser to center the item, your preview area to position the item, and a clean burn with a properly focused laser is all yours. Should you have an issue seeing the laser on a certain material, simply take a piece of the thinnest paper you have, be sure that paper is flat, focus the laser, and remove the paper. With the two red lights converged into one, you are focused and ready for yet again another successful burn. And just like that, you have successfully focused your pecker and burned on three different materials with three different heights. I'm Mr. Greg. This is the Laser Pecker 4, and you're on 3D Rundown.